Kinley asks, is there a good formula for determining radial length? I think a general rule is um, one fifth of a wavelength of the lowest frequency wave. is a quarter wave. I thought it was a quarter wave. Well, I heard it should be a little bit shorter than a quarter wave. So you say one fifth. Oh, okay. I've always I always thought it was a quarter. Yeah. You know, so I've got a whiff of a coil of uh, forty. Uh, they're like thirty-two feet, which is thirty-three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thirty-two, well, thirty-three. That's a quarter. But um, actually, the but the but for eighty, but you can use those radials for eighty meters. So right. then right. that the one fifth formula kind of or the one fifth rule seems to be a little bit of a closer match. So right. So well, maybe it's another thing we had to talk about. But I even I know either Buddy Sick does that, and I even have a vertical here at home. That says that the radial should be one quarter wave long, mm-hmm. and you should have multiple ones for the bands that you are intending to work. Mm-hmm. So, like two radials for 80, two for 40, two for 20, so on and so forth. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, there are, you can, more radials are generally better for, for portable operations. Uh, one radial or two radials is probably plenty. <laughs> uh, but if you're at the permanent insulation, you can add radials so that will help with your ground mm-hmm. bosses to a point, and then eventually you're just putting copper in the ground to put copper in the ground. There's a there's a cutoff. Uh, but I think I think quarter is what they say. Now the fifth that could be because if you're using insulated wire and you have uh, velocity factor or factor into yeah. it, yeah, maybe. Uh-huh. But we'll look into this. This could be this, something we have to. Figure yeah, because I've 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 heard I've heard a quarter and I've heard a fifth. So I've I've always been been under the impression your radial should be just slightly shorter. So no, I I think we sh- I think we need to investigate that. So yep. we'll we'll put our yeah. crack team of investigators on that. <laughs> Ideal optimal radial length. <laughs> optimal radial length. And uh, you know, Alan, yeah. you ask every hammer, they will get a different answer. <laughs> yeah, and Alice is for the DX commander made radios about eleven feet and they have about thirty of them on the ground though. Holy smokes, you got that you got like a ground grid going on out there. Yeah. And I think that's if you've got a lot of a lot of short ones, that's that's usually the that's usually the answer or, or, or quite acceptable. So. Right. So what happens, uh, like if you talk about like broadcast AM, we're not talking about broadcast FM because broadcast FM they have a little antenna on top of the tower. But a broadcast AM, the entire tower is loaded as, a, as an antenna. And they will have a copper grid system that goes out from the base mm-hmm. of the antenna going out as their radials. So you have this whole grid system as your ground plane. And with 11 feet, but 30 of them, you're making more of a ground plane. Similar to like if you put a mag mount on top of your car roof, the roof becomes yeah. a ground plane. And yep. that's similar to what the DX commander is doing there as well. It's like you just got so much copper in the ground is that you almost saturate it, mm-hmm. so to speak. Um, and that so, works. It's it's kind of a shotgun it's a shotgun method if you really want to put 30 radios in the ground. But you could also just put a couple out for your lowest band as well. Yeah. But if but if if you were permanently installed, you know, if that was a home install. Right. I would I I I'd, I'd stick as much wire in the ground as I could. Absolutely. Like I said, there is a there's a point where you're you're saturated and you can't get more wire ain't gonna help. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think our buddy there with 30 has probably hit it. <laughs> <laughs> but but if, if it works for you and you're and it's that antenna's tuned by all means, I'm not gonna laugh at it. But no, yeah, it's, no. but his radials are a lot shorter than what some other people put up there. Yeah. Well, it's it is, it's certainly going to work. It's going to with that configuration, it will certainly work. So, uh, yeah. Sean says, yeah, he ran a Buddy Stick Pro, uh, made several contacts, uh, run, and then he also runs the uh, Woof River Coil in the truck with good results. Mm-hmm. And following up, the key to the Buddy Stick is to elevate that counterpoise at least two feet. So, one hundred and twenty percent on that one. If yeah. you leave that counterpoise on the ground with the Buddy Stick, it does not work. It drives you nuts. I propped it up in snowbanks to keep it up off the ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Usually, what I, I will do with the buddy stick is I'll kind of put it close to the edge of where I parked, and then there's a tree or a bush or something, and then that's what I use to keep. And you just stick the yeah. oil up there. It's great. Yep, yep, yep. So, 
that's yeah, and that's I've I've noticed that with your with your buddy stick that yeah you with the yellow and you only use one radial though, right? I that only use one on that one, and that might make a little bit of a difference too. But but with the Wolf River coil, they lay out right on the ground, right? Yep, and I usually lay out three. So yeah. Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.